Hi, this is Tom Hartman with Avidyne, and today we're going to talk about advanced flight plans, specifically adding airways to flight plans. Uh, I'm referencing the book Flying with the Avidyne IFB by Michael F. Bauer. I encourage you to check into that. It's a nice scenario based booklet we're referencing here for these scenarios. In this particular scenario, we're at downtown St. Paul Airport preparing for a trip to Chicago Midway, and I received the following clearance. Minneapolis clearance delivery. Cessna 1234, you're cleared from St. Paul Downtown Airport to Chicago Midway via the press intersection, Victor 2 to Madison, Victor 228 to Northbrook, climb and maintain 5,000 squawk 1234. So now let's enter that flight plan with a couple of Victor Airways into the IFD 550, and I'll show you how easy it is. When you start up the IFD, in your airplane, you'll see that it knows you're at STP. If you're using your simulator, you would have to manually enter that origin. So first thing we want to do is we're clear to the press intersection. So using our FMS button, push the button. Again, it gives us a, a, a whole menu of options. Of course, we want to enter a waypoint, in this case, press. So we touch that. P, R, E, Geofill fills in the rest for us. We accept it. Now we're at press. Now we're clear uh, on the Victor 2 to Madison. So if we push the FMS button again, we'll get our FMS menu. Again, we can enter a waypoint, we can hold it, press or orbit, or we can enter one of the airways that intersects press. In this case, we want the Victor 2, which happens to be the first one. So I'll just scroll down. There's the Victor 2. I select it and we're getting off. Uh, it's asking what our exit point is and it's, uh, we're cleared to Madison. So we'll scroll up. Notice it goes that way. If I scroll down, it goes the other way. And there's Madison. So notice as I was scrolling, see how it's going backwards, but notice as I'm scrolling, it's building out our airway and we're cleared all the way to Madison. So we approve that. So now that entire Victor Airway, Victor 2, see how it says it's vertically there? All of those waypoints were entered. Remember your old 430 where you had to manually enter all those and spell them right? So you'd spent 15 minutes loading all those. So from there, we're cleared on Victor 228 to, North, to uh, Northbrook. So now when we push the FMS button again, we can enter any waypoint. We can hold at that waypoint or we can jump on any airway passing through Madison, in this case, 228. Well, there's there's the Victor 177, there's Victor 2 that keeps going north, and there's 228. That's the one we want, we select it. And we're cleared to OBK, you can see it right there. Scroll down, it built it out on our airway preview. So now there's the whole Victor 228. And then, What's next is our destination, which is Midway. So we push the button. In this case, we want to enter our waypoint and we type in KM for Midway and off we go. So now there's our entire flight plan. Scroll up. If you uh, remember like we've done before, if you switch to the view cursor, now if you scroll the knob, it'll take you through, it'll center the flight plan over each waypoint. In this case, I'm going backwards, but you get the idea. If I scroll all the way to the top, I can step through every waypoint in the flight plan and see how it kind of filters through with the cursor centered mode. So let's turn that off. Notice how it's got, I'm in the compact view now. So now it says, just like my clearance was given to me, I'm uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul to press intersection, Victor 2 to Madison, Victor 228 to Northbrook, on to Midway. It spells it right out there. Nice clearance form. If you hit expand, then you can see all of the waypoints in that entire flight plan. And there's quite a few of them. So you can see it's really easy to enter airways using the IFD 550 or the 440 for that matter. It operates identically. Uh, very easy, intuitive. You've got a simple menu. Uh, it asks you which Victor Airway you want, where do you want, what's your exit point, 
and it'll enter all those waypoints for you. If we, if we pop out the side tab, you get a little more information on each waypoint. And again, if I go to the compacted view, it's a nice compact version in clearance format. Next, we'll look at some standard arrivals and departures and how to enter those.